Okay, so, I saw this girl, it was something in LA Weekly, and she does some sort of, I don't remember, skinny bitch, I don't think that's her name. <laughs> but anyway, she does something, single girl, and everything, so I figured I should probably do one of these as a married woman, because that's a lot of humor in and of itself. So, my husband's away, and um, I'm sure when he sees this, he's going to think, this is what you do when I'm not home, because I don't actually have a job right now, which is great. But you often don't know what to do with yourself, and so you find ways to amuse yourself that you can put on tape and that is important. <laughs> so, anyway, so I'm here to talk about being married. I've been married, it'll be seven years in August. Seven years. So they talk about the seven year itch, and um, I probably had that four years ago. <laughs> Just kidding, honey. No, but seriously, seven years is, um, is a while. It's wild well to be with the same person. But she he's a very messy person. I thought one day I would take... You know what I'm just realizing as I look behind me? I look like I'm in prison. Which is a kind of a metaphor for being married. <laughs> he probably wouldn't think any of this is funny. Although I find it very amusing and really funny. And may use it in the show someday. So, um, anyway. What was I talking about? I was talking about... I think I should take the camera with me sometime. And, um show you the mess he leaves. I would do it now, except that he, well, he left a mess, but I cleaned it because it was disgusting. So anyway, I just thought I'd give this a whirl. Maybe I should do my own blog called The Married Woman Blues. Every time he does something to irritate me, I could do one of these. I have no idea how many there's going to be. Anyway, it is my first little go. I might have to write some material. This will be fun. Now that I found out how to do my makeup, because I just got Blake do it, great, great, great guy, great guy, great guy. He's gay guy. I mean, what straight guy does makeup? It doesn't matter. He's like the nicest person and like sweet and talented and uh, anyway, he's just great. And I, he wants to be a dancer and I hope, well, I don't want him not to realize his dreams, but then if he's like successful in that and he won't do my makeup anymore, what the hell am I going to do? It took me like two years to find him. Anyway. I look pretty good today. I feel pretty good. And, um, hmm. I'm just looking at myself. <laughs> it's funny. You can talk and look at yourself at the same time, and you can get, like, all admiring of yourself. So, anyway, this is fun. This is giving me ideas. Maybe I could produce my own blog. Kim Russell Wedding Bell Blues. Or, well, you never really had wedding bells, you know? We went over to the chapel. <laughs> A special memory wedding chapel. I couldn't even remember the name. Shows how special that memory was. Anyway, I didn't wear white. Ha <laughs> ha, it was my second marriage. Although, I almost could have worn white. Because, we wouldn't even talk about the first marriage. But anyway, I wore a tangerine. Because that was the only dress I had and we had no money. And I think he wore like sort of this matching tangerine kind of shirt. Which is like the only shirt he had at the time. And, um... We were late, because Stephen's always late. He'll be late for his own funeral. We're going to, like, ask where the hell's the body, and be like, well, I don't know, he's stuck in traffic or something. Um, anyway, we were late, and we had a really cool reverend who minister, well, just to the peace, whatever, this blonde chick that would be like, wait, far out, cool, you know, right on. Like, I felt like I was getting married in a Starsky and Hutch episode or something. But, anyway... Yeah, there were no wedding bells. I think that was the tangent I started on, those wedding bells. <laughs> anyway, this is fun.